Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, I've been gone for about two weeks on vacation, so that's why there's been a little bit of gap in videos. Um, we're back finally home, so I'm going to start working on this uh, experimental EDF F117 that I have. Um, so we kind of left off when we did the flight test at Herman Airport, and it flied very wonky. Um, I'm not totally sure everything that was causing you know to fly weird, um, but some of my theories are is part of it is the way this back end comes down it squishes the thrust tube you know more down on the top so i'm thinking that air blowing out is actually hitting that thrust tube and basically it's like a control surface so when it hits that it's pushing the nose down so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to cut out um, a little portion out of this um, top fuselage piece and i'm going to make it so the thrust tube can come out nice and level and after that i'm going to um, cut out the original tail section and we'll make it so you know the EDF has a clear path all the way out the back and then we'll adjust where the um, vertical stabilizers mount so let me get started on that and uh, we'll kind of go from there and I'll show you what happens all right I cut out that piece on top of the thrust tube and as you can see it was kind of squishing down more from the top than the bottom and again like I said I think that's creating a like a weird control surface angle almost on the thrust coming out and I think when it pushes on that it might be pushing the nose down at least that's one of my theories um, so what I'm going to try and do is kind of re-round this out and get it nice and level um, And then I'll just create like another piece that goes on top of that um, And then I'm going to make it where the thrust tube comes all the way out to the rear So this whole tail section is going to get modified um, We'll put a nice clean outlet for the uh, thrust tube And then the vertical stabilizer will probably be just moved over just a tiny bit on each side So it'll have clearance um, for that thrust tube Alright guys, I uh, put a new thrust tube all the way from close up to the front I chopped off the old front uh, thrust tube and I created a new one that's you know definitely more round all the way back without any squish in it um, please note this is just a quick hack job I'm not doing anything you know precisely or whatever this is just kind of a quick throw together to see how it flies um, and do some more testing so I got that on so I'm gonna build the new tail section um, that'll go on here so um, basically, I guess the EDF one is going to be, you know, a little bit modified. It's not going to be 100% looking like scale, you know, lines. So we'll probably have to build some sort of other section here that allows that thrust tube to come out straight. So um, I think I'm just going to make kind of almost like a U-shaped thing that fits in here uh, just for this quick mock-up. And we'll get that hot glued in there. Then I'll build a tail section. Um, I got the old one here. So, like I said, I'm probably going to just spread out the vertical stabilizers a little bit wider so they fit on the sides of this um, and then we'll see how it looks hopefully it'll look you know still somewhat you know pretty close to the F117 um, but we'll get that buttoned up I'm gonna fill in this gap with another piece of foam board um, just to make it a little stronger too back there and then I'll get to uh, cutting out the front air ducts like we were talking about before in the other video and I'll probably fill in those cheater holes down at the bottom side of the plane so let me continue working on it and I'll show you um, what happens when I get done all right I got the thrust tube all mounted in there and I put a foam board cover over it again this is just a super rough cut I didn't even really uh, measure that I just kind of eyeballed the uh, design and drew it out and so it's a pretty rough cut but it kind of get will give an example of uh, the idea I was looking for so that's on there now we're gonna have to create you know I was gonna take the existing thrust plate um, basically probably just cut it straight across so it'll fill in the gap and then you know cut it as I need to to fit it into here to kind of fill up that space and then after I get that mounted then we can mount the tail fins or the vertical stabilizers on the back okay guys I finished up the quick um, back end of the plane got the EDF in there now um, tail fins and I just made some quick pieces to cover up the gaps that were left on the sides um, it does kind of look a little bit hokey but that big um, thrust tube bulge out the back um, th again this is just for a test flight to see how it flies um, if it works out okay then I'll probably size up the plane a little bit so we can you know reduce the size of that thrust tube hanging out the top of the plane um, and again this is just super rough cut um, when I do a final design I'll you know make everything look better and make it look you know like it's actually part of the fuselage um, but anyway that's the back part that's all finished up um, I did just put tape over the bottom cheater holes so now the last thing I'm gonna do is um, open up the front air ducts a little bit I'm gonna chop off this bottom piece and probably cut into here a little bit then we'll do a thrust test um, see how much thrust it has see hopefully it has at least one-to-one -one thrust um, I'll do a 
vertical test and do a full thrust and see if it'll hold the plane up um, at full throttle. So let me get that cut out. We'll put the battery in and we'll test it out. Okay, guys, I got the uh, plane all finished. Um, for the most part, I cut out the air ducts. It's a little more air in. I put some real tiny cheater holes on the top lid, um, but basically the bottom ones are closed up. So I'm going to do a thrust test. I'm going to try and do a vertical test, see if it has at least one to one thrust to weight ratio. So let's run up the EDF with the fully charged battery and see what happens. Okay, it's right about one to one, so that shows it is getting enough air through these air ducts. So um, hopefully that'll be enough to fly it. So we'll probably have to wait till the next video because the weather's pretty bad. We got some rain right now. So uh, stay tuned. I'll get out to test flight as soon as I can.